Hey y'all, it's Robert. Here's my video 5 on my War Boss Tay Challenge. And uh, it's been slow going, um, but hey, see what I've done here. I've painted up another 8 of my French and Indian War Highlanders. They look about the same as the last 8 I painted up. I think my first, uh, the first ones came out better, but these guys are, you know, just fine. I don't think I did real well on these socks here, but luckily this group only had one guy with with those uh, annoying socks. So I've got um, eight left to paint. Um, at this pace, I probably won't be finished till next month. So uh, I guess I'm going to blow the challenge, but you know, no big deal. random assortment of these guys. I'll show them all to you here. They're all pretty much the same. Okay, for the question of the day, I'm going to take the day 13 question, which is paraphrased, what would you do if you had a time machine? Well, rather than make any sort of great scientific or historical discovery, I'm going to take the time machine back to July of 1758 to see the Battle of Fort Carlon, or as it's probably better known as the Battle of Fort Ticonderoga. The battle was a massive defeat for the British. The British General Abercrombie's force of about 1,800 men was defeated by a smaller French force of about 4,000. The French general Montcalm um, knew he couldn't defend um, Fort Carlon against such a large British force. So uh, Montcalm met the British outside of the force. Still, uh, being outnumbered, Montcalm had a, a defensive wall built. It was a, a log wall. It, I believe it was about um, seven to nine feet tall. But then in front of the wall, there was also an abatos, which is sort of a, a maze of uh, trees and branches, which is used to uh, slow down enemy troop movements. The British attack on this wall was, was just bungled. Now, I, I guess this was either by Abercrombie's inexperience or just incompetence. Um, Abercrombie's cannons never arrived to the battle. Either they got lost, or I've read that some of the cannons um, actually, when they were taken off their, their boats, they actually sunk into Lake George, or they got stuck in the mud trying to, um, to get them off the boats. But even worse, the infantry attack, it, was, um, it wasn't a concentrated attack. It the regiments were sent in at uncoordinated, and they attacked it at various times through the day, which just and allowed the French to, to shoot them to pieces. At the end of the day, the British were forced back after taking massive casualties. You know, even though the British still had enough men, and they still had their cannon, so they could have attacked the next day, they were demoralized and just retreated. Uh, Montcalm saved Fort Carlon, but a year later the fort would be attacked again and captured by the British and renamed Fort Ticonderoga. Going back to the question of the day, what I would take my time machine back and see is the um, the attack on this wall by the 42nd Highlanders, or the Black Watch. The Black Watch is said to have actually reached, and some of the men have gotten over the Montcalm's wall. Now just imagine how terrible just even getting to that wall would be. I mean, um, because of this abatos, you know, this network of fallen trees and branches, you have to run, you can't run, you know, the hundreds of feet to the wall. You, you're slowly advancing over this maze of trees. 
Meanwhile, you know, French are just shooting at you with impunity. And then, if you manage to get to the wall alive, it's nine feet tall. You don't have a ladder. You, you don't have a, a rope and grappling hook. You, you just have to scale it. And when you do get over it, well, you're probably going to get stabbed in the gut by a French bayonet. But um, it's said that the Black Watch attacked and many of them got over the wall, but they couldn't take the wall because of just massive casualties. It's I've read they had 60% casualties, you know, 500 or, or 600 casualties. It, it must have been horrible, but it was truly a brave attack, and I would like to have seen it. So, uh, anyhow, that's uh, my video 5 for the War Boss Day Challenge. I hope you liked my video, and I'll talk to you later.